What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. So what's up, everybody? Good to see you back. Now, I don't know why we got caught all up in this tangent with these budget guitars, but we ain't doing that today. Today, we're gonna look at a guitar that could very well be a chender. It says it's made in Mexico. It's got a serial number and everything. And it's also beat the crap, supposed to be super relic old guitar. Now, I'm by far some authenticator of guitars, but this thing looks suspect on the relic to me. Now, I don't know if it's a real Fender or not either. All I know is my job is put it on the bench, make it play good, Give it back. The guitar's sitting right here. Yeah, this thing's a beauty now. If it is a fake relic, they did a good job. Or did they? I won't know. I've never seen a guitar this beat up that was real. I've only seen one that was fake. And this one looks fake to me. But I don't know if it's a real Fender or not. It sure does have that stupid uh, hole here beside the bridge. Bridge don't say fender on it though. I don't know if those are fender knobs. That certainly doesn't look like a fender jack. Now I don't know. Does fender use jacks like that on the Mexican guitars? You guys would know that. The frets need a really good polishing. Some of them look like they even need to be crowned. Now you guys know the serial number here. I don't know how to look that up. If you know how to look it up. Tell me what it is in the comments. Now, it looks like it does have some genuine Fender tuners on it. That neck looks like it has a lot of wear. That'd be a lot of playing to get it like that, for sure. Yeah, this neck plate just looks... It just all looks suspect to me. I don't like the way these are sticking up out of the body, either. Now, here's a fun little game. You've seen it. So put it in the comments now. What do you think it is? Is it a parts caster? Is it a real Fender guitar? Is it a real relic? Put it in the comments now. Then you can go back and look at your comment later because we're about to tear this thing open and get down to business and figure out what it is. But we can't do it standing around here talking about it. That's going to be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. You know the deal, nasty strings first. Now he said he had some humidity issues with this guitar. And it's got some really big fat strings on it. So that could be the issue there. You know, because it does have a thin neck profile. I'm feeling these tuners. They just feel gritty. They, they feel like they were did with detergent or something. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. No Diodarios there. Nah. We'll start over here with the bridge. See what's under here first. Let's see what it is. Well, surprise, surprise. Now, is that a Fender pickup? You guys would know better than me. I have no idea. I do see a ton of the paint <laughs> under the bridge. That sucks. Let's see what's under the control plate. Bunch of good stuff under there. Don't take no rocket scientist to see that's the good stuff. Take the pit guard off. All right, let's pull this pit guard up. It's got some Sharpie writing on the pit guard, but if I'm not mistaken, those are ceramic magnets. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get to this neck pocket. All right, here's the neck pocket. Now, I've opened up a lot of Fender guitars. This is not normally what I see. You guys tell me. And here's the heel of the neck. 
I've seen a lot of fender neck kills. This could be the real deal. I don't know. You guys let me know. Now my friend James told me, the, the owner of this guitar, that it should have a good fret job. As far as I can tell, it does. But they are filthy, dirty. And I mean, I know it's supposed to be a wore out guitar, but this affects the playability. Them being all ugly like that. Yeah, he's right, he's got a good fret job. Now that the strings are off, you can really see how bad it is. And how poor that relic job is. That's a fake all day long. That's my verdict. So all we gotta do is polish them up. Let's do it. Can you see the difference in the polished and unpolished frets? Let me just do one half of them. Can you see the difference? I think it's pretty simple and easy to see the difference, huh? Let's do them all. Yeah, they're nice and shiny again now. And that's what you want, even if your guitar is relic or whatever like this, you still want your frets to be nice and shiny and polished up to play right. All right, you know what time it is. I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's all strung up. It's looking good. I gotta tell you, I like the way this thing plays. You can be the judge of whether or not you like the way it sounds. But it sure does look pretty, don't it? <laughs> Let's play it unplugged first. Alright, let's turn it up. position. Just a little muddy. But that means if you dirty it up, probably sound pretty good. Alright, bridge position. Nice and dirty. Play a little bit in the middle position. Little bit in the neck position. That's enough of that. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to give it a dud on the sound. <laughs> Not my sound I expect to hear coming out of a Telecaster that looks like this. Sorry. Maybe it is for you. I don't know, but not for me. But what do you think it is? 
I'm going to tell you what I think it is. And don't hold me to this because I'm just guessing. I don't know. I think it's a real fender neck on some weird body he got from somewhere. Somebody chipped all up like that for him. All the hardware except for the tuners is suspect. I have no clue on that one. The pickups, no clue. I couldn't tell you. Now at the end of the day, I don't personally care what it is. I like the way it plays. I know them $79 Tex-Mex pickups from Amazon. Fix that guy right up on the sound. Seems to stay in tune, even with the three saddles the way they are. I mean, seems like a good guitar. But it was fun tearing it apart, wasn't it? I really appreciate you watching, but until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar.